Everything you hear is, let's get the suppliers, let's get the pushers, let's get the dealers, let's cut off the supply. I think maybe we might try a different tack of, of trying to cut off the demand through an education process. And, and try to, uh, as they did in Boulder, Colorado about a year ago, uh, simply get these hard drugs uh, out of there because the people don't want them there, because the people who are in the community see what the problem is and do something about it. If we can have the cooperation of the police department, the park department, and the other city government officials, that'll be great because it'll happen a lot faster. But if we have to fight against them, then we'll fight against them. We're going to do something about the problem, not scatter it out. Cars and trucks are speeding by here on Highway 114 in Boyd, Texas, past this old signpost that seems to be a, a natural cross, marking the spot where Carolyn Irene Blevins, a nine-year-old girl, was killed late last night. She was one among about 25 Christmas carolers who had just left Trinity Baptist Church about 100 yards away and were en route to a house to sing their Christmas song. Eight other children were injured. Six of those remain in the hospital today. The pastor of Trinity Baptist Church, Reverend R.L. Swanner, says the citizens of Boyd are upset about the accident. We've had several of them come to our home and talk about it. They are concerned. It looks like it took something like this to uh, cause the people to stop and recognize the fact that something needs to be done and the speeding on the highway here because these trucks are traveling through here and cars traveling at 50 miles an hour here in front of the church. And then the problem we have down in town of liquor and drinking and problems down there. And I think the people are ready to do something about it. Reverend Swanner says the citizens of Boyd want a full-time officer on duty here at all times. They do not have one now. He says one is needed to stop the speeding on Highway 114. Preliminary reports indicate that the driver of last night's accident lost control of the vehicle, possibly while driving on the shoulder of the road. The reports as yet do not indicate whether any children were on the highway at the time. Whatever the case, it will not change the tragedy that occurred in Boyd. Jim Green, Channel 8 News on the Move, Highway 114 in Wise County. Certainly, the United States is uh, not a monolithic uh, institution. Uh, world trade comes from all sectors of the country, and the Dallas-Fort Worth area is involved in world trade. Some of our largest producers here are involved in this. And uh, the certainty of exchange rate will be of immense help to them in conducting their foreign trade over the coming months. Will it be immediate? Yes, in the sense of the elimination of the uncertainty, it will be immediate because within the next few days we will know precisely the exchange rate pattern of all the major currencies of the world. Do you see that the dollar may be further devalued? Well, I'm hopeful that the present revaluation and devaluation combination will be sufficient to settle the international uh, world pattern for many years to come. be delayed until May 1 with review by the City Council on March 1st, pending a Civic Pride effort to raise $100,000. This would provide the citizens of Fort Worth with an opportunity to help the zoo and, if successful, may eliminate the necessity for a gate fee this year.
Now for, therefore be it resolved by the city council of the city of Dallas that this council does hereby urge President Richard M. Nixon, Senators John G. Powell and Lloyd M. Benson, and Representatives Earl Cabell, James Collins, Olin Teague, and Ray Roberts, to do everything in their power to have this area declared as a disaster area with priorities insofar as the expenditure of federal funds is concerned, that they use their offices for the procuring of emergency funds for the building of a permanent levy to relieve the citizens that are situated in that flood area, that all of the departments of the federal government that might be concerned with the alleviation of the flood problem and the protection of the citizens be alerted, and that they assist the Corps of Engineers in procuring any funds that may be necessary for this project. Well, this report is, is a lot more specific. It, it deals with the six general areas, the, the six major responsibilities that we've been given in the area of, of uh, site selection and construction, transportation problems, uh, curriculum, personnel, and student assignments. And under each, each uh, area, we have cited specifics where the school district uh, has had some problems and where we, the, some of these problems have been resolved and others where th those problems have not been resolved. Do you see the school district making progress anywhere? Well, it, it's again how you interpret progress. In some areas, yes, in others, no. Where would you say it has its most glaring failures? Uh, I couldn't call them failures right now. All I, all I'm, all I could say is that uh, there are some things that have to be clarified, uh, and uh, there are some very, very definite problems. Hmm. I thought the thing was just going to go right straight through with the recommendations, and then there was one delay, and there's another delay. And uh, as I said it, I know it's going to start a pretty good hassle about it, but I think these people don't have any guts. I'm referring to six of them, the way they voted this morning. Members of the city council. That's right. I, I say that that's a pretty bad thing to say about anybody, but, you know, if you're going to just face up to something, you're going to have to call it the way it is. And I think it's time that somebody in Fort Worth stepped out and said exactly how they feel, but with the knowledge behind what they're talking about.
if you get hit by a beer truck this afternoon, Commissioner, go on out to Peter Smith. You're going to be all right. They run over you. We're going to take care of you. Well, <laughs> you, never, you never know when a bear truck's going to run, you see. this thing. Generally speaking, as I'll go down the list, uh, our patient receipts um, <clears throat> show an, an increase. Our other uh, receipts, uh, $197, $173 under. Uh, our tax receipts this year are $140,000 increase. The 450 Dallas Salesmanship Club members are business and professional men who strive to build a future for boys who need help. As a part of the initiation into the Salesmanship Service Club, members crowded into the Dallas Dr. Pepper plant today to wrap presents for some 50 emotionally disturbed boys. For eight years, the club has sponsored a rehabilitation camp in Hawkins, Texas for boys from the Dallas area 8 to 16 years old. The most popular gift item requested among the campers was fishing gear and tools. Rusty Rose was among the 19 new initiates who donned red Santa Claus caps to pack gift boxes filled with goodies and a special gift for each boy. There was only one problem. Not all of the men had perfected their gift wrapping techniques before the party. One such initiate was Rusty. Rusty made up in enthusiasm what he lacked in skill. Do you feel that the uh, school district's plan in total is or is not succeeding at this point? Well, again, you know, that's, that's uh, I really could make a judgment on that, an evaluation, of, a general evaluation. Uh, there's going to be some changes when the Fifth Circuit comes down with this ruling. So uh, I think it's still kind of early to tell. How do you feel about being banned in Dallas? Are we banned in Dallas? Yeah. Oh, I love that. I was banned in Boston. Oh, that's going to get some of the line. best publicity we can get. <laughs> do you feel that's like this show is unpatriotic? <laughs> No, no, not at all. Burning the flag or whatever you do to it is not. We don't burn the flag. We sing about what a nice thing it is. We fold it better than any soldier could ever. 
Nice. We sing about the nice colors that are in the flags. We don't burn any flags or step on any flags or even have them touch the ground. As a matter of fact, we even fold it according to military dress code. That's right. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people say that uh, hair is getting old now and the shock value is over. How do you feel about this? The things that hair talks about are still going on. They're happening in Dallas. That's why we're not playing there. So um, that's what I have to say about you know, hair becoming old. How long do you think it might run? Um. I don't know, it'll run It'll run until things probably get straightened out around this country and then when it does get straightened out, it'll be a, a piece that'll still be playing forever. Just like the Civil War, it's, you know, it's happened a long time ago, but um, there's still plays and films and everything about it. Well, both for another 18 months. How do you feel about doing it without the uh, news team? Pardon? How do you feel about doing the show without the news team? We wouldn't do it. It doesn't need the news team. It's just something that we need.